Hello everyone, it's me, Carl from C from Gaming, and oh my god, I don't even know if I upload a team up pre release unboxing publicly yet or not. I recorded it, I don't even know if I edited it, but the reason I didn't edit it is because Pokemon TCG pre releases have been a bit of a downer for me lately. To get the update portion out of the way for this video, um, the TCG in general has been not as fun for me because these sets have gone to over 200 cards every time there's a new card set out. And that means that more new cards, the less chance you can get any good, not even good trainers. So because of awful pulls and pre-releases, I haven't been buying stuff, and because I haven't been buying stuff, I haven't been adding stuff to my deck, and because I haven't been playing much because of college, I haven't been really doing much at all this term. So I went to team up, got really bad pulls, like Celestial Storm levels are bad, main worse. So I don't think I upload it, may I upload it after this one or around the time I do this one, or may I won't upload this one even, though I have at least some cool stuff to show off, like, much-wise. So yeah, that's why I haven't been doing TCG unboxings lately, because it's not as fun, because I'm not getting much good stuff, and there's not much reason for me to play outside for fun. And also, they're rotating out a lot of good cards this season, like they always do, so I'm bummed about that, but oh well. We still went to the Unbroken Bonds pre-release, which is the Build and Battle set. So yeah, we have three packs to open up, and I'm still using this old school format for these card unboxings because it's easier to show off. Like always, here's the mini poster because they always have mini posters for these. And let's separate my deck and the cold cards off screen with the stuff I pulled. So this is the deck I used. It has stuff like Jenning. Uh, Howl, Meowth, a bunch of fire energies, and a few fighting types. Nothing significant. This was my promo of sorts, Stack Attacker. I haven't played a fighting deck since like 2012 in black and white, so I was not used to the fighting types. And I won one match because Sand Slash was very good, but I lost the others because I put too many Crab Brawlers in my deck, and also it uh, wasn't that good. Like, I didn't have much good cards, I didn't pull anything good. And it's like Celestial Storm and Team Up all over again. These big sets are the end of me, I swear. Um, but yeah, here's what I pulled. The Goldeen, Inkay, uh, Tentacool. I thought that was a good intro for some reason. Esper, Tyborg. Just a bunch of middling weaklings, to be honest. Stunfisk. This Y-Don would have been helpful, but I didn't have a Y-Hole, otherwise I would have put it in my fighting deck. So yeah, there's really nothing, just look at all these. And of course, the Hollow card I got was Froki, the pre-evolution to Greninja, the worst Pokemon ever made! Okay, I joke about that, it's kind of a meme on my channel that I hate Greninja when I really don't. But yeah, Froki, I got a Hollow Froki. This is good, because it's free... Energy for an evolution Pokemon, and if a GX is evolution based, and you can just power it up with this. So that's actually a good card. I don't use it because my decks require like specific energies when you evolve. But I can see how it's good for some normal types and whatnot. Cubones, another Hollow I got. Miss Magius, Metapod, Dust Island, which is a poison, keeps the poison on. Yeah, that's all I got. Nothing good. And if trends continue, you may not even see this on YouTube because I may not get any good from these packs when my bad luck end. Well, at least let's show the one good things I got. Uh, they actually have patches! Like the good old days of the Pokéathlon, Pokémon League stuff where they give away patches. And they also did this for the OS season. OS maybe Pokémon 06 in the games, but it led to some pretty good patches of all the Hoenn badges. So, yeah. I got these two. I only get one, but then a friend gave me another, so thank you, friend, for giving me the other. Uh, he gave me this one. That I'm wiggling. So, yeah, it's Westworm Zekrom, and this. I think this is from Team Up that they got in late, and this is from the new set, but they still go well together, I think. So, yeah, I'm glad they're doing that again. I hope they keep it up, because that's one reason to go a pre release. But let's open these packs and hope I don't get anything bad. First pack with the fairy. I didn't even get a single EX of rare card. Like, even one I don't use, which is unusual. Well, not so, because these sets are big. So let's see what I got here. 
green gonna be bad or is it? Why now that would have helped in the tournament. Ground if Cubone Inke Canopy Glamia what was that oh it's the cat wait Oh, this attack only attacks GX or EX Pokemon, so it's kind of crappy. Miss Maggie has yes, no Miss Drevis. Clever. Polygon 2, that's in the set, huh? Ultra Forest Cartography. Oh, this is. Shit, I dropped some. But this is a good card. During this turn, damage from the Ultra Beast attacks aren't affected by any effects on the opponent's active Pokemon. So that means you can do so without any sort of abilities blocking their attacks. That means the Hoopa uh, I use in my other deck probably won't be as good now because Ultra Beast can just pierce it. Oh well. Unbroken Bonds, pack 2. So one okay supporter so far, not good. Green pack, oh my god, my luck's awful, that's the f Let's see. Fourth green pack, cause I only I didn't get a white pack at all. A Zubat, Coughing, Doduol, Pottywag, Switzy, Clefairy, Sharpedo. What does this do? I mean, look at top six cards attack any you notice know, dark energy. Twenty times the amount of dark energy. So I could put this in my Guzzlord deck, I guess, if I don't discard it, and the top six would add a lot, but it doesn't do much. There's sixty plus. 23 stock. Golbat! Zubat and Golbat! They don't do much, but if there's a Crobat, then I can use it! So, okay. Final pack! Give me something that makes me not miserable at pre releases, I beg of you. Green pack number 5! Oh, uh, free, free. No, that's number 6! Is it? That is green pack number six. Wow, I have no white packs. This whole pre release, no white packs. The third set, no good cards pulled. This is getting fucking ridiculous. And I, I don't swear on these videos much, but the set numbers, like 214 cards, they're putting too many of them. I thought it was cool the first time around, but now it's just. You know, that doesn't even do much. Wow, martial arts. No. Fairy Charm. Put vent all down. Okay, this is an okay card. You can block Fairy Pokemon from GX and EXs. They have abilities. And this stupid axe. That's... Oh my god. The worst pose. Three in a row. These pre-releases are getting awful, guys. Am I the only one with this awful luck? Does the world hate me after I lost a friend this month? I don't know, but it feels like it because I haven't gotten any single good cards in any of these since uh, Forbidden Light, which conveniently was the one without all this stupid heavy card nonsense. Let us see how many green cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, seven? Oh, that's even worse. I got seven green cards. That's... <coughs> that's stupid. And of course, the white one's the pre-release battle box. So, yeah. If you wonder why Team Up wasn't uploaded on YouTube, and why Celestial Storm was so late to be uploaded, I don't get good polls. I don't think I can get good polls in boxes anymore. It's like my bad luck is getting worse, or they just are making these super wigs so you spend more money. You get the same amount of cards, but there's more in it, and the cards aren't even good anymore. Am I the only one who feels this way? Let me know in the comments, because it doesn't make me happy. But these badges are why I went, and I'm glad I went, at least for these. Otherwise, I would have hated my waste of $25. Bye.